Hello, students of Coaches College. My name is Lauren Gladwell, and I am an academic and career advisor. This is the second video in a series of videos meant to help you as a current or prospective student of Coaches College prepare for registration at Coaches College. In this second video, we will talk about the second step in the process of registering for college, which is applying for financial aid. As an advisor, I can tell you that students come to the advisors all the time looking for help and assistance with financial aid. However, what you need to understand now is that advisors are not authorized, nor are we trained to advise you regarding financial aid. If you have any financial aid questions, you need to go and speak with the financial aid office, where you will find very friendly and helpful staff excited to guide you through your financial aid journey. For the purpose of this video, since I am only an advisor and I am not authorized to advise you on financial aid, I will merely show you the opening steps to begin applying for financial aid. Please keep in mind, any questions you have for financial aid going forward, you must take to the financial aid office. The first thing you need to do in order to prepare yourself for financial aid is to apply for the FAFSA or the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. One of the questions that we always receive in the advising office is, do I need to apply for FAFSA again? The short answer is, if you've already applied for that FAFSA for the academic year in which you are, you don't need to apply for it again because the FAFSA is good for each academic year not for each semester. So just make sure that you are currently updated with the current FAFSA for, you guessed it, the current academic year. In order to access and fill out your FAFSA, you will need to visit www.studentaid.gov. At this point, many students need help filling out their FAFSA because there is a lot of vital information involved within it. If you need any help whatsoever with your FAFSA, you need to contact the financial aid office immediately. The financial aid staff is intimately familiar with the FAFSA and they are more than happy to help you fill it out. Once your FAFSA has been submitted and has been processed by the Department of Education, you will receive a confirmation email from the Department of Ed letting you know that this has been completed. At this point, many students make the mistake of believing that they are done with their financial aid. That is just not the case. Many times, colleges have their own set of requirements that they need the student to complete in order for them to be able to receive financial aid. Coaches College is no different. Once you have received the confirmation email that your FAFSA is processed, begin visiting the financial aid office and begin creating a relationship with them. Once they receive all the information that they need from the Department of Ed, they will be able to tell you exactly what requirements they still need from you in order for your FAFSA to be completely complete and for you to be ready to receive financial aid. Never take a completed FAFSA for granted. There's always something else that needs to be done. And so you need to make sure that you are taking the initiative to talk to financial aid to make sure that you have completed all the requirements that they need from you. Upon meeting with financial aid, you may discover that there actually are a couple requirements that you do need that need to be done with an advisor. These requirements are max credit appeals or GPA calculations. These requirements aren't very common, especially for new students, but if you do need one of these requirements, come and see us in the advising office and we will help you get it done. And that, my friends, is how you get started with financial aid. Remember, if you have a financial aid question, do not ask your advisor, go straight to the financial aid department and ask them because they will know exactly what you need. This brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we will be discussing a very important part in the preparation for registration process, which is placement testing. Until then, be safe, stay healthy, and keep learning.